Hi, this is Steven from LogicPuzzle.org. I'm going to uh, show you a little bit about how the Logic Puzzle Grid works and the various options and tabs on the playing board. When you first per, uh, pull up a brand new puzzle, uh, this is the screen you'll see. It's the, the gold tab and it'll just reiterate the various categories and options for the puzzle. Um, you already see this information on the initialization page which came right before this so you don't need to spend too much time here but it's always a good idea to uh, get it in your head what the categories are and uh, understand uh, roughly what the options are so that when you hear uh, Gucci for example you'll know that's a designer it goes in this column etc. Uh, to get started what you'll want to do is click either on the clues tab here or at the click here link and that'll give you the clues and that's where you're going to spend the majority of your time when you're solving Zul. But for now, we're going to show you the other tabs and then come back to that. Uh, the notes tab here uh, is just an area where you can uh, take some notes, write down anything you want, things you want to remember later on in the puzzle, um, and you can go to different tabs, back and forth, you're on, and your notes will be here. It'll be saved for you. Uh, the answers tab, you don't really need to do anything here except at the very end. But what this is going to do is uh, it'll, it'll fill it in on its own as you're completing the top rows, top four rows of this puzzle will be the top five rows if you were doing a five by five puzzle. But uh, let's just say for, the, for strictly uh, uh, an example here, let's say Logan uh, was paired with 6.30 a.m. You'll see Logan appears next to 6.30. It will fill in automatically and uh, once everything is, once all these squares are filled in, uh, a link, a little button will appear right around here which will say uh, submit your solution and that will allow you to submit the puzzle, see if you're correct. If you're not correct, uh, it'll allow you to go back and uh, try to solve it again. If you are correct, it will give you your statistics and your points and everything. Um, so that's the answers tab there. Final tab is the question mark. It gives you a little bit of information on how to play, how to set the X's was one click, uh, how to set an O is two clicks. Uh, to get rid of it, it's three clicks. So just click again on that or click twice on that and it'll empty the, the, the square on the grid. Uh, request a hint uh, can come in handy if you really get stuck on a puzzle. If you have no idea where to go next, uh, you can click request a hint and that's going to do two things. First, it's going to check all of your um, true and false statements that are currently on the board. So let's put a few up there and it'll let you know if they're accurate. So let's click request a hint. Now it's going to say if you're logged in, you'll get this message and it'll say by uh, requesting a hint, you're agreeing to forfeit the puzzle. Do you, are you sure you want to do this? Uh, we'll click yes. And first I'll say the current grid status. If it's in red, that means that there's a mistake. And it says 6.30 a.m. is incorrectly paired with Logan. So that one, again, we did it strictly as an example is not correct. So we're gonna knock that off. Apart from that, it's also gonna give you one true statement uh, for the puzzle. So our hint is 7.30 a.m. should be paired with Louis Vuitton. So 7.30 a.m. Louis Vuitton, we know that's correct. And that's how the hint works. Um, we'll go back to, and you can re you can request as many hints as you want. Uh, we can request two hints, three hints. It'll keep track of how many hints uh, you you've actually used up for the puzzle. But again, if you use any hints at all, even just one, uh, and you're logged in com uh, playing competitively, you will forfeit the puzzle. You can still complete the puzzle. It'll tell you if you're correct or not. Tell you how long it took. And all that is still the same. But in your statistics. Uh, if you're logged in, it will count as a unsolved as an unsolved puzzle. If you're not logged in, doesn't matter. You can request as many hints as you want, and uh, since your statistics aren't being tracked when you're not logged in, it will make no difference whatsoever. Uh, finally, we'll go back to the clues uh, option here, and you'll see the option clear the logic grid. Uh, you want to be careful when you do this because it's going to completely set you back to the very beginning. But sometimes you filled in a whole lot of information and you realize you've made a mistake somewhere. Uh, there's too much on the board that's just completely wrong and you want to just start from scratch. So that's when you'll click this. It'll say, are you sure? Click OK. And then boom. You're uh, completely, the, the uh, logic board is completely empty and you can start again from scratch. And uh, that's that's generally how the how the board works. Uh, we'll do another demonstration after this, showing you how to actually solve the puzzle uh, using the various clues.